Hey, the berries. Welcome to an enchanted game with the new season 14 items and map and everything. Um, I'll do. I'll go through this again because other people may have not seen the other PPE stuff I've done. But this is a new support item, World Atlas. It's basically a relic shield and a spell feast combined into one. You can choose whether you want to last hit minions. You'll get 20 gold, but your AD carry will get the full amount. So it's kind of like a nerf version of relic shields. Um, and then you've got the harassing thing from spells uh, thieves, which is the same as like if you poke the enemy, you get gold. Now it takes a little bit longer in laning phase for these charges to come through. So early on, um, you're not going to be able to get that level two kind of boost advantage that you might want to do if you're holding relic shield charges. Um, so charges do come in, the, in a little bit later at the start of the laning phase. Uh, one build that we're going to be trying for this game, I'm playing with a Samir by the way, and we're up against, I don't know what we're up against, is PBE, so it's kind of wild. Looks like maybe a Hawaii, Hawaii something bot lane probably, I don't know. Um, but build wise we're going to be going into like CDR boots, we're going to be picking up um, just all the old mythic items from season 13 since we can do that we can pick up a shrillias we can pick up a moonstone i think echoes are is still in the game yeah we can buy literally all three of these items without any limitations so i want to do that for uh, the memes see what it feels like just to have all three of those support items because we haven't been able to do that before so i'm kind of excited the items are relatively cheap too all 2200 gold and it should be doable. As long as the game doesn't end too quickly. Okay, so it is a Hawaii bot lane. And a Shen support. Shen has TP. So you can see that we've only just got like... Still haven't even got the Relic Shield charge, but the right way. Now we've got one. So you can see how late that comes through. So you can use it on one of these melee minions early to boost you through into getting that. Lovely and quicker. But you can only use it one time, you don't have two charges. Wait, you're going in. That would be ill-advised. Um, there's your support tanks. <laughs> I tell you man, supports in season 14 are absolutely broken. So they're getting a double kill? Oh, oh, wait, what? Huh? What is... Okay. It's a shame we didn't get that one. Okay, this is a fantastic start in terms of gold. So we can just go straight for... We can go straight for Echoes, because we can. Why not? They've changed the build, though, in Echoes. Battle Glass Mirror, correct me if I'm wrong, I swear used to be 50 base mana regeneration. Now it's 75, but the gold cost has been increased to 1,000, whereas I believe it used to be 800. Because they've added these glowing moat things in. So it used to be like two fairy charm, like one fairy charm on the on the right, one fairy charm on the left hand side, but they've changed the build now. Is it 950, sorry? Okay. They significantly increased the, the mana, I swear it used to be 50 base mana though. So it's gonna definitely help out champions that drain mana quickly in lane, like Sona and um, Nami. Nami will like that too. There used to be Fairy Charm amp tone, but now they've added this uh, spell haste little item. So far it's looking quite good for us. I should have probably hit that melee minion there to help last hit under the turret. So here I can just like last hit that cannon minion. I get 20 gold flat for any minion and the AD carry still gets the same amount of gold. Alright, we can try and chase this down. Okay. We can probably still play for this. I'm gonna slow down this fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four kills on Sona, man. What is this? 
What's the TP from the Shen? Oh no, she's actually gonna die yeah. F. Well, luckily it's just a mirror support, so it's fine. <laughs> We can buy- oh my, we can buy Echoes of Hillier at five minutes, guys. What? This is gonna be fun. 125% base mana regeneration there. So the damaging and shielding thing- healing and shielding an eye consumes all soul shards, restores 20 health, and deals 55 magic damage. Stores up to three shards, so basically the same as- Last season. I don't have boots though. I just kind of forgot about boots. I've been so excited to picking up all of these mythic items, but kind of actually forgot to buy boots. Should also be maxing W as well. I'm doing many illegal things right now. After we started the cult, I know I started the cult of buying boots first, but my, my mind got jammed. If Samira doesn't need healing, so my echoes won't proc. I've got a real first world problem here. Yeah, so not, I actually need this Samira to take damage. Got three charges sitting right here. Nice. I kind of feel like my Echoes isn't proccing at all. Like, Echoes is just not proccing, like, full stop. My Echoes is bugged, it's just not working. How disappointing. Like, it's not proccing at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, we did get a proc there, though. We did. How did it proc and not proc the other times? I don't know why it's not blocking reliably. Alright, let's get out of here. The damaging a champion generates a soul shard up to three. Healing or shielding an ally consumes all soul charges, but it only used one charge, I think, or two. I don't know. It's not working properly. Alright, boots. We need. CDR boots. There we go. All is right with the world. So any proccing when you're in range of enemies? So they like nerf the range on this then? That's where it used to be more generous. We'll see. I felt like I was quite close, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. Echoes of Hillier actually might be get even worse now. Oh, that's such a good ulti, though. An enemy has been slain. You don't like the new bush and entrances. It's gonna take a lot of time to get used to, that's for sure. We got one of these touch the void grubs from the jungler to killing one of those worm things. So we're doing a little bit of extra damage to the dark turret. Seemingly is adding up quite a bit, like 50 extra two true damage. So two extra autos attacks for me, also Samira's doing some stuff there too. Oh, 
Yeah, I have to just get nearer to them than I normally would have to with Echoes. So they've nerfed Echoes. That's where I used to poke off a lot further than that. Quite bullying them in all the different lanes and stuff right now. I've got ulti. <laughs> I totally didn't try to go for that one as well. Winky smiley face. Wait, can we get this turret and get all the money for free for ourselves? Plus 400 gold, let's go. Right, so we nearly got our second support item before we completed the uh, support quest. Um, we want a moonstone next. Okay, it would be absolutely illegal to go tier Sona now. Like, the amount of extra mana regeneration you're getting from these items now is crazy. Echoes of Helia, with a Moonstone, with a Shirelias, and then we can maybe try out this new Dawn Core item as well. Gain 3% heal and shield power, and 5 ability power for every 100% base mana regeneration. So yeah. But first we gotta buy all the mythic items first. After this is true, it is. Yeah, after this is true, it is. Yeah. Okay, so now we take the bubble, which enhances our shield and healing. So, what that does, it. So, after the support item completes, you can take one of five different item upgrades. I swear I'm not trying. Um, so, we are. Gain a blue dream bubble and a something else bubble. Hold on. Gain a blue dream bubble and a purple dream bubble every eight seconds. Healing and shielding another ally blows both dream bubbles to them and empowers them for three seconds. Blue bubble reduces damage they take by 140. And then the other one makes them do more damage on the next hit. So we're now Bizzle Bubble. <laughs> Bizzle, Bizzle Berry Bubble. Noise. Uh oh. Please don't let me die. No, don't let me die. Don't let me die. Save me. Save me! No! Quadra kill? Nah, she can't. She's out of mana. But, we have Moonstone, and now we go Shirelius. <laughs> oh, Shirelius has got base movement speed on now? So yeah, because you lost the mythic proc now of it just activating. But when you buff people, you have to see the only movement speed it has for allies is when you push the button. It's kind of bad now, actually. Yeah, she sure is is pretty bad. <laughs> it's strange because Shredis was like the go-to actual support item for so long, and I think now it's going to be not many people going to be taking it. It's going to be some very niche cases where, if you really need someone to go in, like a hack room or something, then it might be okay. Go 
as for Leona and Alistair, not really, because the stats on it aren't great. Like, the base stats are definitely more enchantery. Oh, it just flew across like Superman. And that is that. Didn't get to buy all the mythic items. But, um... Yeah, the base mana regeneration on that is pretty huge now. It's going to be very difficult to get very balanced PvE games, though. That is always going to be really tough. Maybe we can get some viewers together to get some games going, but... Uh, yeah, that was fun. Obviously, because I had lots of kills. <laughs> 16 KDA. Um, yeah, Echo. I think all of these old Mythic items have got kind of nerfed a little bit, right? Like, Echoes, you kind of had to get a lot closer. I'm not sure how viable that's going to be on Nami, then. She used to be able to proc that, I swear, from miles away. But now you're going to have to get a little bit closer, so it's a bit iffy. Moonstone is still basically the same. Seems okay still, honestly. Sure it is not buffing people when you shield and heal them. And only having that active might be a little bit too weak. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, we do need to try another game with that Evercore. Is it Evercore item? Whatever it's called. The... I don't remember what it's called. Core item or something. Can you remember what it was called? Dawn Core? But the Dawn Core item looks pretty good. So We'll be testing that out at some point. Yeah, not Evercore Heroes, no. <laughs> Wrong game! Um, but yeah, GG, if you are watching us up on YouTube, then don't forget to subscribe, like. We're going to be doing more PBE content between now and the end of the year. Still would be doing some solo queue stuff on Season 13, as I still need to do the climbs. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see what's going to be coming around the corner and getting myself ready to make guides and things like that for when it actually hits on live uh, very early, very, very, very early next year. Like, very, like, first week or two of January. So, yeah. Did you?